Ryan Zeck. I'm an elite applications engineer in Charlotte, North Carolina. Today, you're going to see the next installment of the Performance Enhancing Tools series that I'm creating. And what I wanted to focus on today was custom properties. Now, custom properties will help you automatically fill in your title blocks. Uh, these are already there. They're just placeholders, um, and it's just filling in what you've put in for custom properties. Problem is, a lot of times, people don't even know that they're supposed to put those custom properties in, and they wait till it's too late, and they've got 200 files or 2,000 files or maybe 20,000 files, and they're like, oh, my God, how do I go back and, and update all those part files so that way those holders inside of my drawing will actually work and function and show what the custom properties are? Well, uh, recently I came across something that actually is going to be very beneficial. Now, uh, there's a few ways to do this. In this particular case, we open up this plastic clip and we take a look at our custom properties. I'm talking about under File, Properties. File Properties. I have a little hotkey there. It's, it's a P. That's a custom hotkey that I use. Uh, if we pull that up, now you can see that there's actually a whole bunch of custom properties in here. And this is under the Custom tab. There is Configuration Specific tab as well. But we're going to talk about just about custom properties today. Um, notice there's a whole bunch of things in here. These are really just placeholders. Um, so, so when I start a new file, this is already there, and I can just come in there and, and modify these, these placeholders. Well, how do we get these in here? Well, you can pull these down, and you can specify what you'd like to have as, as, a, as a custom property. Um, but in reality, um, it's nice if, if these are already there, and you just have to come in here and, and maybe modify this te value or text expression. So maybe make this try that. Um, but in order to do this, to have these already there, you have to put that in your template. I'm going to show you that in a second. But um, going backwards, if, if you haven't put these, maybe you only have a few parts, one way to do this is just go ahead and highlight this and do a control C. And maybe we go to that next file. And I'll go ahead and open up a file here. We'll take a look at our custom properties here. So file properties. And notice there's no custom properties here. I can go ahead and do a control V, copies all those properties. Now, what you'd have to do is probably just do a, a kind of a blank here and just make sure you get all these set to just something blank. And that's probably what you would copy uh, uh, to put in, in um, the other files. So one thing here going forward, so now if I click OK, I can go ahead and create a drawing and it'll automatically populate my title block. However, what if we have 20,000 files? That, that's a lot of manual labor. Um, is there a tool? Is there a way? And there is. And I, I, I love to show things like this because I think this is going to help you get your job done faster. So what I want to do, I'm going to close this down. I'm not going to save this. And I want to show you what you can do. So um, we're talking about SOLIDWORKS Task Scheduler. This is part of SOLIDWORKS Professional. Now, inside a task scheduler, what that will allow you to do is create a task that is going to create, uh, that's going to update all your files. And this is, this is what you want to use right here, update custom properties. Now, if you don't have SOLIDWORKS Professional, no worries. Your local support rep would love to help you with, uh, with that if you need an upgrade. Um, you can do an upgrade. You don't have to go and buy a whole other sheet of solvers. So right here, all we have to do is add in a folder. Let's say uh, we add in all 50 folders that have solvers files in them. Uh, or you can add in a file, which I'm going to just add in a file. And that one file we're just talking about. Notice that it says next. And what I want to do, I'm going to do this once. I'm going to do it at this time. But notice that I could start this um, at midnight, you know, or, or on the weekend or something. So that way it's not working on my machine while I'm trying to get my job done. I click on next. And now this is where we could actually come in here and say, OK, I want this to have a description. I want it to have uh, a placeholder just XXX. Uh, this is going to be um, maybe a part number. Maybe we put that in there. Uh, the one thing that might be difficult here or, or is, is not as as easy as if you're going to control C, control V is for uh, material and weight. You can't pull this box down to assign that to the SOLIDWORKS material property name. But no worries, at least you're going to get a lot of your custom properties already kind of just populated and started 
and then you can come back and, and fill in these these uh, title blocks. So uh, let's go ahead and finish this out. Maybe checked by or, or drawn by, and we'll go ahead and put in my uh, my initials there. And we'll go ahead and click on finish. And as soon as we do that, what it's going to do is it pops up SolidWorks and it says, "Hey, I'll go ahead and work for you." And you sit back, relax, and you can see that it finishes. And it says scheduled here. If you hit the little refresh button, now it goes completed. If we click on completed, it actually shows you what it did. Here's our completed. This is like a, a report. Awesome. You can print this out, send it off to your boss. Now that we've got that, it's completed. Now let's go ahead and open up SolidWorks. Let's take a look at that file. And remember, we didn't save it from before. Now notice, now it actually has those in here. Uh, and at least we have a placeholder that we can go in there and re retype over the top so we don't have to pull this down. Um, the last way that I was going to show you, the easiest way, make sure you put this in your template, right? So if you go to File, New, and you create a, temp a, a part file this way all the time, just go ahead and start that file, go in here to File, Properties, and then just copy and paste those same properties, and then you can see that we can go ahead and get this... Um, just a placeholder here for these couple different options. So it's uh, a little bit generic. And then we'll go ahead and save that as a part template. And when we save it as a part template, probably want to make it a you know, part underscore custom prop, or just let's just do CP. And now what I want to do is when I go to File New, find that particular template. And now when I pull up my custom property templates, there it is. It's automatically there. All right. Hopefully that's been helpful for you. And until next time, happy designing.